Hello and welcome to the big picture. The parliamentary paralysis and the shameful acts of disruption witnessed during the last two weeks of the session has resulted in many legislations lined up for discussion and passage not seeing the light of the day. With just five more days of the session left and the order account and general budget yet to be tabled, this last session of the parliament of the 15th Lok Sabha is heading for the worst ever performance. This could result in some of the key anti-corruption legislations like the Whistleblowers Bill, Grievances Redressal Bill, among others, lapsing. Ironically, most political parties have supported these legislations and have been promising activists who have been pursuing it that they have no objection to them. However, despite this seeming consensus, lawmaking has become a casualty in this session because of the divisive politics being witnessed in the parliament. We will discuss today what will be the fate of these important legislations and if there is still hope of the political parties in parliament rising over their differences and getting these bills passed and what would be the impact of it if they fail to pass them. To discuss this, I have with me Satyavrat Chaturvedi, Congress MP in the Raj Sabha on the phone line, Aruna Roy of the National Campaign for People's Right to Information who has been spearheading the campaign for these bills, Najma Heptula, BJP Raj Sabha MP, and Raghav Chadda of the Amadmi Party. Welcome to all of you. Uh, Arunaji, I would like to come to you first. You people have been, you know, campaigning, pursuing, persuading the political parties about the importance of these bills. We have five days left. What are the hopes you, you have about these bills being passed? Let me begin by saying that in the sense of the House resolution that they passed, when the Jan Lokpal was, bill was being discussed, they actually have already concurred right. with the fact that there should be a grievance redress bill and a whistleblower's bill. Right. The amazing thing about the present parliament session is that there is no business. Right. So the political discourse that we should really be concentrating on, not only for now, but for the immediate future when the 16th Lok Sabha is expected to form itself, is not who is going to be the leader, but how, do you, how will you conduct our business? It's an amazing thing that in Parliament, if you look at the sum of it, as you yourself said, the business conducted is, is so poor and the number of hours they spend on really talking and discussing about legislation, which is meaningful for the poor, for the poor and the needy in this country, so abysmal. So I really think the important thing that we have to now push in the next five days is to insist that they discuss it and take their business seriously because at least these two legislations are ready, ready for passage as are some other very important legislations. So they should really spare some time and pass these legislations and we are going to agitate and we will also pursue with the agitations and with the mobilizations because that is where uh, some of the pressures of, of uh, putting, uh, of placing the parliament in a in a position of irresponsibility and demanding responsibility lie with us. But I don't know whether hope is a good word. But I think what we do demand is that if they cannot pass it in the normal course, they'll have to pass an ordinance. Otherwise, these important laws will lapse. And then we'll spend another five years building up momentum and writing these laws. And it shows that the entire parliament is not taking this seriously. It is not addressing itself to the issues of accountability and transparency because they are afraid that their control over their political parties and the political system may go. And I think those parties which are committed to accountability and transparency must in fact within parliament spearhead a movement to make sure that these laws are passed in the right. next five, five days. Okay. Uh, Najma ji, you there? Najma ji, you, you heard what Arna Roy says. Yes. You, you know, I am sure you understand the importance of this bill. Do you think that the all the political parties can now overcome all their differences and at least ensure that these bills are passed before the session ends so that you know these bills don't get lapsed and in any case all political parties including your party the congress left parties everybody claims that you know that they would like to have strong anti-corruption legislations but unless and until you show that resolve on the ground what is the use of it
Usually, I'll tell you the parliamentary procedure is that the list of business is decided by the parliamentary affair ministry and the government. Right. If they were, if the government was really serious, we are committed to passing this legislation. The party has said many times over that we want anti-corruption legislation to be brought to the house and pass it. But if this government was seriously wanting to pass this legislation, they should not have, they should have listed this legislation before coming to the more uh, complicated issues which they have not been able to resolve as far as the legislation on bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh is there. They purposely brought Andhra Pradesh. They didn't want the these legislation to be passed. It is beyond the BJP or any other political party other than the government party to decide the business. But, but, we Najma can ji, only ask. No, no, I understand. The affair ministry. Sorry, Najma ji, I, <coughs> sorry, I, yeah. sorry. See, I understand the procedures, but the yeah. thing is that when if if all political parties, at least if the major yeah. the the major opposition party and the ruling party put their heads together, and you know this this the, the, I'm, I mean the business advisory committee is there, the meetings of the business advisory committees take place. If if there is if there is seriousness on the part of these of the major political parties to ensure that such bills are passed, don't you think that these these bills these these problems which you are talking about could be overcome? But we don't see that kind of a resolve from from all the major parties. That is what I am trying to tell you. The business the the ball is in the court of the government. The government, if they were serious, they should have brought it earlier. When did the BJP said that we are not going to cooperate to pa pass the legislation which is anti-corruption? We have been insisting on it, but yes. no, no result. The government brought uh, all these legislation which are co which are creating such a ruckus in the house. Yes, uh, we we were hoping that you know we will have a Congress representative. On the panel, uh, we are somehow having problems getting them on the, getting them to come and talk on this. Uh, it's very unfortunate. Let me get uh, Tapan Sen. Uh, Naturally, yeah. because they they have no face. One, one minute. Yes. You, you can understand that they are avoiding to discuss the matter with you. While I am really wanting to discuss this matter because we have been talking about anti-corruption. Right, uh, Tapan Sen. Tapan do you, do, do you see any hopes of these key anti-corruption legislations like the whistleblower bill and the grievances, grievance interest bill getting passed in, in, in the kind of atmosphere which we are witnessing in both houses of the parliament in the next five days of the session think, which is left? I can say for certain the whole atmosphere is there and I, I, and, and I, I, I doubt the very intention of the government to bring this anti-corruption bill and really get them passed. The manner they have been listed and the manner the house is being run and the manner the ruling party itself giving provocation to all these uh, nuisance in the house. I doubt their very intention of getting the anti-corruption bill cleared by the house. Okay, but you know, don't you think that the that this is something which every political party should take responsibility for instead of just passing the buck on to the central uh, on to the government itself? No, definitely every political party has to owe the responsibility. But in this case, in this case, please Girish, hear me. Yes. In this case, the responsibility, the manner the event uh, unfolded, the responsibility entirely lies on the government. And they are managing the house. Arunaji, what do you have to say to this? Yes. Can I... Yes, yes. Actually, I, can I, say I one do thing? think that it should have been I'll come a to you, priority Najmaji, let Arna... and they should have really taken up. Arunaji, Najmaji, I'll come to you. Let, let Arna, Arna Roy finish first. Yes, Arna. Yes, you oh. see, I okay. personally feel that they should have taken up the bifurcation of states after they had discussed all the bills that had already been discussed on which there was a consensus. Right. These are bills Agreed. on which there was no disagreement between political parties. Right. Actually, these should have been passed in the first first day of parliament beginning and then they should have taken up the contentious issues. But even so, Correct. I would plead with all the other political parties that they should pressurize the government to take on these bills for passage. And if they speak in one voice, I think it will be very difficult for the government 
not to do so. Najma ji, that is the point. You know, now see if 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 the if all the political parties, like if your party, the left parties, if they put pressure on the government, if if all of you are serious about about ensuring that such a legislation is is put in place, don't you think the owners is also? I, I agree with you. The government has to government has to take responsibility for it. But don't you think that you people also has to share this responsibility in the interest to the large in the larger interest to the people, the poor people who will all be affected, who will be benefited by this kind of a legislation? No, the main thing which I wanted to say. Yes. That when the legislation about bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh, which was creating trouble, was pending in Lok Sabha because they cannot bring it to the Rajya Sabha being a money bill, so in this period they could have brought uh, these anti-corruption legislation, but they never tried. They never even offered. They did not even bring the money bill in the Lok Sabha. Right. What was the hurry to bring the Andhra Pradesh bill? They could have passed the money bill. They could have passed the railway budget. They could have passed the anti-corruption. They could have listed the Andhra, the uh, the fag end of the situation. Najma ji, that is everything is over. No, I agree. But I agree. This shows the intention of the government. Najma ji, I agree. I agree. I, 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 no, I will tell you one thing, please. Yes. Hear yes. with. Yes. Have patience with me. Yes. Because I know the procedure. I have presided in the house. And for 18 years, I have done that job, and I know how it works. However, we pressurize entire opposition parties. Pressurize; they are not doing it. Do you think we are not pressurizing them? Okay, uh, we, uh, we cannot pressurize in the house alone. We do it in the business advisory. Okay, Raghav Chadda. I know Amadmi Party doesn't doesn't have any representation in the parliament. You have no voice there within the parliament. That I agree. But you know there is another key legislation which your government is trying to pass right now in the Delhi Assembly. There also we see the same kind of divisiveness creating problems. But one of the issues which is being raised today in the Assembly, the Delhi Assembly, is that that the, the Lieutenant General has written. Lieutenant Governor, sorry, has written to the uh, speaker saying that you cannot introduce this bill, but still your government is trying to go ahead and introduce this bill. So what I am trying to say is that, you know, is is your party indulging in grandstanding instead of sticking to the well-established rules and procedures? If you are really serious about pa passing a bill like the Jan Lokpal bill. Well, it's not about grandstanding or uh, defying any written laws. Uh, as far as the letter written by the uh, Lieutenant, the Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Delhi is concerned, he has stated three clauses. And I can, uh, you know, if you want, we can debate on each of those uh, legislative clauses that he has mentioned. Of the law, you can't read just one clause which suits you. You have to read the entire legislation in totality. If you talk about one section, then you have to talk about other sections also, which make the previous legis uh, the previous section which the LG has quoted, which make it very much redundant. So what I'm trying to say is what the Aam Aadmi Party has done today, or has been trying to do as far as bringing an anti-graft and anti-corruption legislation in in the house or on the floor of the house is concerned, is that we are going by the constitution, we are going by the legislation, and we are committed and dedicated to bring in a legislation. As Aruna ji rightly said, if the if the intent is there, you can bring in. The intent was not there as far as the members of parliament is concerned. They could have very well listed this, uh, the, the key anti-graft Ra legislations on Ra the uh, top of the list of business order okay. and they could have cleared it. Ra Ra they Ra Ra do it. Number two, they sorry, brought sorry. about a, a Jan Lokpal bill. They cleared a Jan Lokpal bill very recently Ra in the parliament. One minute. Now Ra imagine Ra that Jan Lokpal bill doesn't Ra Ra have please, the clauses of whistleblower protection. I have got, that Jan Lokpal bill Chaturvedi on the phone line. Let me let me go to Mr. Satyavat Chaturvedi on the phone line. Mr. Chaturvedi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, Mr. Mr. Chaturvedi, the the discussion is about you know the 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 key anti-corruption legislations like the whistleblower bill, the the grievance redressal bill. They are all pending. And hello. Yes, can you hear me now? Your voice is crackling. Mr. Chaturvedi, I am I am talking to you about the whistleblowers bill, the the grievance redressal bill, which are pending, which are pending for passage in the in the uh, in the parliament. The whether in, in the next five days is your government 
is your government serious enough to ensure that these bills are passed so that they don't get they don't lapse and then we will have to start all over again as far as I recall, and you would also agree with me, that the opposition that only local will not assign the person of the city that is the corruption activity. Therefore, there will be need for so many other three, four, five bills that are being discussed today. And these bills should also be passed and the legislation should be effective for the corruption of the country. Now, this demand of the opposition party is being met with by the government of India. And the government has come up with these bills in this session. Now, uh, the leaders of all the political parties were invited by the Prime Minister and they were discussed, uh, the issue discussed. Among them, these bills were also discussed. Now, the effort of the government is to pass these bills so as to make the Lokpal bill effective. Right. Now, if these political parties, which have themselves been demanding these legislative uh, measures, if they withdraw their support to these bills, or they do not prepare themselves to address these bills in the parliament and discuss them, then it is a political hypocrisy. Mr. 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 Chaturvedi, that Mr. Chaturvedi, they, they, what, what both the BJP and the thing? left, I'll, I'll, let me, let me, let me first uh, ask Mr. Chaturvedi, uh, Najmaji, I'll come back to you. Mr. I have one question for Mr. Chaturvedi. Mr. Chaturvedi, my question is that you are saying that the opposition parties are playing, are, are having double standards, and but they are saying that, you know, you, you could have, you could have got these bills first in the, in the, in the parliament and ensure that their passage before bringing very controversial legislations like the Telangana bill. But by doing this, you are they say that you are not really serious, you are only playing to the gallery outside, but when it comes to really passing passage of these kind of bills, you are playing games. Well, as far as the government is concerned, it proposes the number of legislation that it desires to bring in the parliament. It is for the business advisory committee of respective houses, that is Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, to organize and to fix dates for, for various legislations. So it is not the government which fixes the date and time for discussion of these bills, but it is the parliament's uh, business advisory committee which does it. So they can't blame us for that. You can't, you can't be, you say you can't be blamed. Tapan said, the, he is saying that the business advisory, it's the business advisory company's job to fix these things. You can't just blame the government for it. Hey, say, say, passing the bark on others. They are listing the bill. Whistleblower bill is being listed from the second day in Rajya Sabha. I have seen. Right. But while listing the bill, they have led their own person to create milieu in the house, to create uh, hangama in the house. At the same time, their own person. Right. M making a show of expulsion. And after the election, the after this session is over, they are going to be given the ticket from the respective region. No, that's not. So everybody understands that thing. Mr. There Mr. is no intention. Mr. Mr. It, Chandra... is, it is under compulsion. They have to consume the Lokpal and they are trying to sabotage the whole process by sabotaging the uh, operation of the house. Mr. Mr. By Chandra... letting their own man in the well. Yes, Najma. Deliberately. Ji. Najmaji, you want to nothing but a match fixing game being played between the parties. Mr. Na, sorry, if you Naj allow me, I yes. have one question for Mr. Chaturvedi. One second, Raghav, let Najmaji ah. come in, I'll come to you. Yes, yes, Najmaji. Yes, what I wanted to say, I agree with Mr. Tapan Sen. What he is saying is absolutely correct. You list business, you, it is discussing the business advisory. But does Mr. Chaturvedi can give an example where BJP said we don't want to discuss this bill? By listing them in the, in the business is not enough. They should insist and ask that we want to pass this legislation. And he is absolutely right. I myself have observed the ruling party members standing in the house, Mr. Subira Reddy, another gentleman from Andhra, they were on this Andhra issue, they were in the well. Why could not the government stop them? Why could not the ruling party? I'm not using the word government. 
Yes. I am using the word ruling party. Yes. Why did they not ask their members to sit and allow the bills to be passed? Okay. Okay. We were sitting. We were not in the well. We were not doing anything. We were waiting for the business. Okay. Raghav, yes, very quickly. And Mr. Chaturvedi is a very senior member. Right. And I have a great respect for him. One question. Yeah, I yes, have one Raghav, question for quickly. Mr. Chaturvedi. Yes. Yeah, I have one question for Mr. Chaturvedi since he was also uh, a part of the select committee which uh, gave their recommendations on the on the Lokpal. Why was a Lokpal passed when there was no whistleblower protection in that act? Why was a Lokpal passed when there was no uh, grievance redressal provisions in that Lokpal? And why was a Lokpal passed when there is no citizen charter in that Lokpal? Yes. What is the intent that, of bringing out a farcical Lokpal when these three very integral parts of the, the entire functioning of Lokpal are not there. And right. if you were to bring in those legis uh, those provisions by a separate act or by a separate legislation, then why are those legislations still not passed? Absolutely. What, the Lokpal is, is absolutely ineffective ab without these legislations absolutely. and without these provisions. Absolutely. Mr. Chaturvedi, do you agree that, you know, exactly. Mr. Exactly. Ch Mr. Chaturvedi, would you agree with that, that, you know, unless these, these two, three key legislations are passed, the Lokpal, the Lokpal, which is, which is now coming into being, can become quite a, ineffective. Mr. Chaturvedi? Mr. Chaturvedi, can you hear me? I think uh, we will get back to him. There's a problem with the phone line there. Uh, Aruna, Arunaji, you think, you, you know, in, in, in this kind of an atmosphere, what, did, I, what I want to know is, if, if these bills don't get passed by some, for some reason, and ho, ho, we, let us hope that it will get passed, but if it doesn't get passed, what will be the consequences of that? See, I think that all these laws had to be passed by the same Lok Sabha which passed the Lokpal for the simple reason that these are all uh, simultaneous attempts to make sure that yes. there is accountability, transparency within government. And it was, a, it was unfortunate that these bills did not get passed with the Lokpal. And it was all because of the kind of hype and pressure that they passed that bill alone. So I think if they do not pass the other bills, the message that people outside like me will get, who are political activists, the message we get is that government is not serious about accountability systems. It's not serious about addressing the grievances okay. of millions of Indians. Arunaji, it Arunaji, sorry. For Ar people who have been killed because Ar they've used, yes. Arunaji, sorry. Uh, I've got uh, Chaturvedi, Mr. Chaturvedi on the line. Yes, yes, Mr. Chaturvedi. The question is that do you agree that if these two, three key legislation, anti-corruption legislations are not passed, the Lokpal bill, the Lokpal, which is now coming into being, can become quite ineffective? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Could you please repeat your question? Yeah, I said that, you know, if do you agree that if these two, three key legislations, anti-corruption legislations like whistleblower bill, and Grivan's Redressal Bill don't get passed, the Lokpal which is now coming into being can become quite ineffective. Citizen Charter, Grivan's Redressal And the Citizen Charter Bill. The issues that were supposed to be addressed while addressing the... Yes. Hello. Chaturvedi. legislation for judicial sorry you do not then I... it means that judiciary will still remain out of the purview of anti-corruption legislation one two we wanted to give protection to the whistleblowers yes this has been raised again and again and discussed on the public platform repeatedly right the opposition also not disagree with me on this point that, that we need to protect the people who are giving evidence against corrupt people. Yes, now, all that is fine. Legislation has to be passed so as to make the effective, uh, make effective the local legislation. Uh, no, but the point, Mr. Why are they not passed? Mr. Chaturvedi. Also, so therefore, it is obvious. If there is a consensus, then why is it not tabled and passed? So as to make the local institution effective against corruption. 
Now, Mr. Chaturvedi, very quickly, Mr. Chaturvedi, very quickly, can do you think that in the coming five days that is left of Sir, this parliament session, the government, the question, is even bigger the than this. The the, question the government is even bigger will bigger than this. Wait, Raghav, please, Raghav, please, Mr. Chaturvedi, do you think that in the remaining five days, you people will take up this? seriously and ensure that uh, some of these bills are at least passed before the session ends? Absolutely. We are trying our best to talk to various political leaders in the parliament. Yes. No, but there is an already a consensus on these okay. bills. The whistleblower's bill is in the Rajya Sabha having passed through the Lok Sabha. Is so what is the problem? To decide whether they okay. want to support these effective measures or not. Okay. And if I'll... they do not support these effective measures, that means they have been only playing a gimmick, political okay. gimmick, nothing else. Okay, okay, Mr. Chaturvedi, we are completely running out of time, Who but we hope that them? we hope that your government will have your government can and I, also the other I political parties will will over. Yes, very quickly, very quickly, Lajmaji, we have to end. Yes, the point is the no, Miss. I just want no, to say, I, I just want to tell you, the responsibility Chaturvedi of the Parliament to deliver. That is the limits of the government, not of the okay. Don't do it. Okay, sorry. Yes, Aruna ji, very quickly. Najma ji, okay. Just a minute. Just I'm a minute. very quickly saying that the Parliament must deliver. Ma, we don't care who is fighting with whom. Okay. But for but us, the Parliament must pass these acts. Okay. On that note, we need to end. We completely run out of time. Parliament must deliver, regardless of. Who is fighting with whom? That's what Aruna Roy says and I think, I'm sure all the people in this country would agree with her. Hopefully all the political parties will put their differences aside and be able to pass these key legislations which, without which the Lokpal can become quite ineffective. Thanks to all my guests, Mr. Satyavati Chaturvedi, Tapan Sen, Najma Abdullah, Aruna Roy and Raghav Chadda. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue in Big Picture same time on Monday. Meanwhile, have a great weekend.